I would define CDTM as the maximizing the use of the pharmacist in the patient care team. So it would be the collaboration of the pharmacist with the prescriber uh, and the patient to maximize their therapeutic outcome in whatever drug regimen they're on. There's no reason for an attending physician to be tied up with a patient when we can provide a similar service and actually provide even more expertise in those specific disease state areas when it comes to medication management. Collaborative practice allows a pharmacist to do what they do best, to work at the top of their license. For me, we are always and always will be and always have that medication experts. What they bring to the team is a perspective that the other individuals do not have because when you're choosing a drug, there's more to consider than just whether or not the drug is useful in that particular situation. Patients experience less hospitalizations and less ER visits due to adverse effects of their drugs when a pharmacist is involved in managing them. Their overall improvement and survival is greater by having a pharmacist as part of their healthcare team. And our patients um, have more satisfaction with their overall healthcare experience and have a valued member of their team that they can go to and that they can trust to interface with their providers and solve their everyday needs. There's too much lack of connection between facilities, patients, doctors, pharmacies. You know, that interactive experience or interactive working together of the doctors is just essential to, to getting the right outcomes for the patient. Even though the drug may be very expensive, if it keeps a person out of the hospital, for example, or it keeps them healthy, that's what it's all about. So the cost savings is really on the back end, on improving care overall. We're at a point with CDTM that it needs to be expanded beyond the academic medical centers. With the Affordable Care Act and uh, the many, many patients who now are seeking care because they have coverage, this is a prime opportunity for pharmacist clinics to expand and, and help relieve the burden uh, of that patient load from the physicians and nurse practitioners. Right now, being limited to only performing this in an academic medical center really is uh, not in the public's best interest. If the pharmacist can't do the work, you know, um, it's, it's, it's that important thing. That, that it's there and it's in place and it stays in place and if anything else, uh, they will allow it to grow.